If you are a woman who struggles with PCOS and hypoglycemia, meaning you know your blood sugar goes low or you experience a lot of hypoglycemic symptoms like shaking, like feeling lightheaded, like feeling super hangry, listen up because berberine is not for you. By the way, I'm speaking generally. I do not know your body, so I cannot tell you exactly. And if you want my personal guidance, check out my Balanced Hormone Membership, where I host live Q&A calls every month, including one devoted entirely to testing, where you can join and we can have the conversation about what you're noticing symptom-wise, what you might know lab-wise about your body, and I can give you a more personal recommendation. You can head to the bink in my lio, switch the L and B to join or get more information about that membership. That said, I see a lot of women who are reaching for berberine and it's really probably not for them and it's maybe not for you. A lot of us want a pill that's just going to be the answer and I get it so tempting. And Western medicine has really trained us that like just swallowing a pill is going to solve our problem. However, it does not and it will not. If you're somebody dealing with symptoms associated with PCOS and hypoglycemia, you really need to take a good, hard, long look at what you're eating, when you're eating it, how you're prioritizing your vagus nerve or your body's response to stress and your nervous system, and get real with yourself about really, really extreme things you might have tried or be doing, like extreme exercise programs or extreme diets like the ketogenic diet. It's quite common if you are in this boat of dealing with symptoms associated with PCOS and hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, that you're either not eating enough, not eating enough protein, not eating balanced meals, or not eating often enough. This is a group of people who I almost never recommend something like intermittent fasting. That is a recipe to make these symptoms worse, not better. And who instead I recommend a regular eating schedule. That means breakfast within an hour of waking and a balanced meal or snack every three to five hours. Now, what is a balanced meal or snack? If it's a meal, then it's at least 30 grams of protein, primarily animal protein. And that's accompanied by things like non-starchy cooked veggies, gluten-free carbohydrate sources, and healthy fats like avocados, olives, olive oil, butter, and other dairy products if you tolerate them. We are really good at overcomplicating things, and I really want to encourage you, if you haven't tried these strategies, to do so. It's also something I talk about in the Hormone 101 course that comes along with joining my membership, the Balanced Hormone Membership. So again, I cannot speak highly enough of that membership, its affordability, and your access to resources that will help you.